when you go into it. The Padlet has three different categories. The categories are current pollution in green, rising sea levels in blue, and waste management in orange. Your first job is to read all of the posts, no matter what your choice was for your topic. So you're going to read all green, all blue, all orange. The goal here is to take your best guess. Some of you might feel more confident if you're voting in your categories. Others might feel less confident. Either one is totally fine. You're going to take your best guess as to whether each statement is fact or fiction. So true or not true. So for example, atmosphere will benefit. I'm going to read over the statement and I'm going to think to myself, I think this is true. So let's say I say this is true, this is fact, I would hit the thumbs up. And then, hmm, on second thought, I'm not sure, I wish I didn't say that. All you have to do is simply tap what you just tapped and it'll undo what you did. So let's say, nope, I think that's not true. And this is also a good lesson learned. If you tap on the picture, it just expands it, no worries there, just hit the X. And let's say I think it's untrue, then I would scroll to the next one, and I'll continue reading each post carefully. I might need to read it one or two times, and I'm going to vote for each one. You do not vote thumbs up, thumbs down on the what did you learn. Okay, so I'll tell you about that category or that option later. So you're going to go through each category, you're going to vote for each one after you read them carefully. And remember, if you want to undo it, then you simply tap it again and that will turn it off and then you can choose what you really wanted to say. So that's your first job, to read every post and vote. Lastly, let's say your category was waste management. So if your category is waste management, you need to tell us one thing that you learned. So at the bottom of every category, you have to scroll to the bottom where it says, what did you learn? You're going to tap on that. It says, post one thing you learned from your it's mini research. So you're gonna tap there and it's going to bring you to a new Padlet. So this Padlet, your job, first off, if there are any posts here, you're going to read all of the posts first, okay? So you'll read all of the posts. When you read them, just ask yourself, was that what I was going to say or is that different? You wanna try and put as much variety of things that were learned on the board as possible. So let's say no one else said what you were going to say, that's fantastic, so you're ready to post. If you're in the app, you simply tap the plus sign, and that's going to bring up what you're going to post. If you're going through Safari or just the internet, you would just tap on the board, and it would just automatically bring up a post to write in. So for your post, the title, please put your first name and your last initial, not your last name, just for digital security here. So first name and last initial, and then where it says say something, you're going to type in the one to two sentences about what you learned, okay? Just a simple statement about what you learned. What did you find interesting? If somebody else said what you wanted to say, if you could add more detail to it, another specific fact or something like that, or if there's something else that you learned that's different from others on the board, I'm gonna try and encourage you guys to post different lesson learns if you can. Um, you can do speech to text, So now I want to make my post interesting and something that people want to read. So I'm going to add a picture that relates to my topic. Let's say my topic is on salt water. I'll look up salt water and hit search. And I like this picture right here. And then when I'm ready, I will hit post. Please keep in mind that you'll see it posted to the board. But if you were to come back to this, if you don't see your post, do not worry. Your teacher has to approve it before it goes public, sort of like if you guys have done any flip grits. So just make sure it's appropriate and it's as accurate as you think it can be. And then once your teacher has seen it, they will post it for everybody else.